Hello, my name is Dr. Calloni and I work as an Associate Professor of Gastroenterology at the University Hospital in Florence. In this talk, I will discuss the new advance provided by our study regarding chromosomal instability DNA damage in hepatocellular carcinoma. Hepatocellular carcinoma is the primary malignancy of hepatocytes and the most frequent solid tumor of the liver. Different etiological factors such as hepatitis B and C virus, alcohol and diabetes cause the liver injury followed by inflammation, necrosis and hepatocytes proliferation. Continuous cycles of destructive regenerative process culminates in liver cirrhosis, which is characterized by regenerating nodules that progress to dysplastic nodules and the HCC. More than 9% of HCC, including dysplastic nodules in the cirrhotic liver, possess chromosomal rearrangement, suggesting that chromosomal defects occur at early stage of tumor development. A common feature of the human HCC and dysplastic nodules is represented by chromosomal instability. Our hypothesis is that chromosomal instability per se is an important mechanism of DNA damage, inducing structural chromosomal aberrations. Chromosomal instability is regarded as an ongoing elevated frequency of metodic errors that leads to numerical and structural chromosome aberrations in a significant proportion of cell division, leading to intratumoral heterogeneity, drug resistance, and immunotherapy evasion. Cells with uh, CIN missegregate the chromosomes 50 times more frequently than non-transformed or chromosomal stable diploid cancer cell. Mislocalization of proteins, including oncoproteins, tumor suppressors, and other cancer-related proteins can interfere with a normal cellular function and drive tumor development. Mitosis-induced DNA damage can help to explain many features of cancer, including its tendency to progress and the presence of genomic instability. Mitotic DNA damage, double-stranded DNA breaks, induce structural chromosomal rearrangements. Checkpoint kinase 2 is a protein detecting DNA lesions caused by exogenous genotoxic agents. However, signaling and repair of DNA breaks can interfere with other DNA activities, such as replication or transcription. The critical importance of protein-protein interactions and localization interfering with DNA damage response is exemplified by CHK2. To extend this finding to humans, the expression CK2 in patients with cirrhotic-related HCC and normal liver were examined a uh, liver biopsy. Normal liver tissue showed a moderate and diffuse cytoplasmic staining, whereas grade 1 specimen were characterized with weak focal cytoplasmic uh, CK2 staining. In grade 2, a CK2 perinuclear and nuclear accumulation was observed. Furthermore, specimen with grade 3 showed exclusively a clear and strong nuclear staining without cytoplasmic and perinuclear CK2 staining. Taken together, this finally revealed that in the presence of DNA damage, CK2 translocate from the cytoplasmic to the nucleus. Furthermore, the expression levels of CK2 were analyzed in a public available cohort of ACC from the Cancer Genome Atlas. We found a high significant increase of CK2 expression in HCC with mutated P53, a mark of genomic instability with respect to those with beta catenine mutation. The previous observation prompted us to investigate the functional role of CK2. Three different cell lines were employed. The colon carcinoma cell line HCT116 was used, a near deployed cell line that segregates chromosomes to maintain a stable karyotype and is commonly employed in the CIN study. Second, the HCC cell line HUH7 was used, which is a stable hyperdiploid karyotype with altered chromosomal structures. And finally, HUS cells were used marked with an unstable karyotype. HUS cells are human hepatocytes 
immortalized with telomerase reverse transcriptase, a gene described commonly activated in human HCC. HUS cell just establishing culture, zero generation, and referred to as HUS zero gene, showed a karyotype with a distribution of 46 chromosomes. It expressed low level of CK2 protein in comparison to HCT116 and HUH7. The UHS0 gene cell were maintained in culture and after 30 gen consecutive generations re examined to verify the karyotype status. The cell showed a distribution near triploid with many structural chromosomal defects. And importantly, this aspect was associated with increased expression of CK2 proteins. Likewise, with the Murin model, we evaluated the expression level of phosphor histone H2HE in all cell lines studied. Both HUS0 gene and AUHS30 gene cell exhibit high level of phosphor histone at H2AX although with different level of expression. This finding indicates the presence of the NW strand breaks, a hallmark of DNA damage in HUS cells. The finding of expressed CK2 in both karyotype stable HCT116 and HUH7, but also in a stable karyotype HUS30 gene, did not demonstrate a specific role CK2 in the fatty chromosome segregation. Therefore, we analyze the cell line HST116, HUH7, HUS0 gene, HUS30 gene by immunofluorescence to examine a possible alter localization of CK2 with the mitotic structure. CK2 showed a low level of localization to the spandy pole of mitophases within the mitotic structure in HCT116, HUH7, HUS0 gene. Important, H2 S30 gene cell showed a robust localization of CK2 with whole mitophasic mitotic structure, indicating a clear mislocalization of CK2. This result suggests that in H2 S0 gene cell expressed low level DNA damage, CK2 weakly co localized with the mitotic spandle components, whereas CK2 is increased as strong associated with the whole mitotic structure in H2 tertigen cell that are expressing high level of DNA damage. The findings that HUS30 gene express high level of CK2 protein correlating with DNA damage prompt us to investigate the effects of knocking down expression of CK2 in HUS30 gene cell. A pool of four short RNA targeting CK2 result in effective decrease of the protein in a significant reduction of the number of HUS30 gene cell with lagging chromosome and mitotic index. Furthermore, we evaluated the activated phosphorylated form of CK2. The protein the expression of phosphotreonine 68CK2 and phosphotreonine 387CK2 in HUS30 gene, HUS0 gene stable transfected with the tag CK2 were assessed. Phosphotreonine 68 CK2 were I express in HUS30 gene and in HUS0 gene stable transfected with uh, CK2, but not in HUS0 gene as expected. Furthermore, phospho CK2 reveal a robust localization with components of the mitotic spandle as previously shown for CK2. Taken together, these results reveal an overexpression mislocalization of phosphorylated CK2, which is correlated with its activation status and manifestation lagging chromosomes induced DNA damage. Upregulated CK2 meddles Aurora B kinase function for chromosomal segregation and cytokinesis. Our Aurora B kinase is known to be involved in chromosome condensation, the assembly of spined mid zone in anaphase at the mid body during telophase. Furthermore, Aurora B kinase has been identified as an effective predictor of aggressive ACC recurrence in relation to genomic instability. Therefore, HU 
HUS0 gens cells were transfected with TAG CK2, and immunofluorescence analysis revealed a colocalization CK2 with Aurora B throughout all mitotic phase, and this colocalization was present in cells marked with lagging chromosomes. This aspect suggests a possible scenario where an overexpressed and mislocated CK2 overruled the signaling specificity at this mitotic checkpoint, inducing itself chromosomal aberrations. To understand how CK2 is recruited to a mitotic structure, a series of variant red fluorescent protein CK2 protein were created each carrying a point mutation or a deletion and were expressed and localized in HUS30 gene cell. The 4 k associated domain of CK2 has been proposed to mediate the localization CK2 to mitotic structure for the reason that uh, 4 k associated domain function as a phosphotraining binding protein motifs. The deletion of CK2 uh, for k associated domain disrupt the localization of the protein to mitotic structure, indicating that the deletion of k associated domain is responsible for the observed mislocalization. Furthermore, we analyzed the effect of several CK2 mutant of lagging chromosome. Interesting in transfection of CHUS0 gene with CK2 for k associated domain significantly reduced the, the number of lagging chromosomes. This result suggests a dominant negative effect of CK2 for K associated domain towards endogenous CK2. This cartoon summarizes that CK2 and phosphorylated forms mislocalize within the mitotic structure in the presence of DNA damage, contributing to the increase in the number of lagging chromosomes.